I made a rug with my bare hands. There's this K-pop group that I really like, Exhibit A, and they just came out with a new album a few weeks ago, and they came out with song posters for each of their songs, and they all look amazing. So I chose my favorite, and I'm going to make it into a wall hanging to go on my wall. For this project, I used four different colors of yarn, a screwdriver and hammer, you probably don't need a hammer, a punch needle and needle threader, obvi, some tacks, scissors, glue gun, canvas, mouse cloth, and a knife. Though you probably, you probably shouldn't have used that, so I'm just gonna take it out. Also, some cardboard, thanks Amazon, and a fabric pin. I also use my projector, but I'm not about to throw that on the pile, so. I decided that the easiest and probably most inexpensive way to set up my monk's cloth was to buy canvas from Michael's, and of course I got caught in the rain. And then I just had to remove all the staples from the canvas, um, which was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I struggled a little. A lot. I, I struggled a lot. <laughs> uh, and then I ended up just like cutting it and then ripping it off because that was so much easier and like work smarter, not harder. Am I right? Um, wow. Then I had to figure out what to do with this middle piece because I obviously couldn't keep it in there because how am I supposed to punch needle through the wood? It's just not gonna happen. I, I was being very careful, to be fair. Um, I did this for a long while. Started tapping with the hammer, see if that would work. Didn't. Back to the knife. And then all of a sudden I started to get really wobbly and I was like, oh, it does come apart. And then I, and then I felt stupid. After I felt proud, I felt pretty stupid. But I did it! I did it! But it was not time to celebrate yet because I still had a good at least half an hour's worth of work ahead of me putting the monk's cloth on. So I just pulled it over, tagged it to the first part, cut it out, pulled it as tight as possible, and tacked it onto the other side. And then I just did the same for the other two sides. I really wasn't sure how many tacks I should use, but everyone's always like, ooh, the being tight is the most important part. So I, I went crazy. And also my hands hurt so bad after. And I mean, I don't have a lot of energy to begin with, but this took a lot out of me. Like I had to just sit there for so long afterwards, just have a little rest. <laughs> Now it was time to actually transfer my design, not my design, onto the <laughs> since of the canvas. I know I already said that this is artwork from TXT's album, but again, I just want to make it very, very clear, even though it is already very clear, that I did not design this artwork. I cannot find who designed this artwork because when I look it up, all Google does is try to sell me the albums. I already bought nine versions. Google, but thanks. I'm sure if I searched it in Korean, maybe it would come up, but I am not at that level yet. So if anyone knows, please enlighten me. I love, I love <laughs> all, all of the song posters and they deserve all of the praise. So again, I don't, I don't art. There are many artistic, very creative, very talented people in the world. And I just copy them. The most important thing you need to remember if you have writing or if it's important, you need to flip it so it is the opposite way if you're going to be using the fluffy rug side. I was so proud of myself for remembering because I really thought I would forget and that would have been so sad. So basically, I just propped up the canvas on some <laughs> jigsaw puzzle boxes uh, against my wall and then I resized the uh, art. Um, to fit the canvas, uh, leaving room for the border of the actual canvas wood stuff because obviously you can't punch the needle through that. I thought the easiest way to do this was to put it in Procreate because I could easily resize it. I couldn't think of another way. Maybe there's an easier way. Maybe I... 
yeah then i just use a fabric pen to trace it but obviously you can use whatever you want you're not gonna see the markings afterwards anyway this is actually very terrifying because every so often like ah my screen would go blank and then it would like go blank on the projector and since it's i didn't know if it would come back at the exact same size or whatever it would disconnect so it freaked me out but it was all good it was all good it was perfect and yeah if you don't have a projector then you can use a different method there is someone who just like printed out images and then put it up against the window and like did it that way i'll link their video down below i have a projector because i enjoy investing in things that makes it even harder for me to leave the house as you can see i also went ahead and colored in some of the parts just so that it was easier for me to know what colors they're supposed to be even though i know this poster so that was kind of not necessary but um, I was really nervous because there's so many details that I was sure weren't going to show up properly because how that the fingers, the small, like fine writing, how is that going to turn out? But we're going to do a super quick threading tutorial. You put it in this end, pops out the other end. You, you put your th yarn in there, pull it through, and then you stick the thing through the other hole, put the yarn in, pull that through, and you're good you just throw it out you're amazing and it's time to get started this is the only time lapse that i did and now watching it i like regret it because this looks so nice but it's just so much extra harder to get myself to do it if i also have to film it i filmed this clip because i was like oh i'm gonna do a before and after to see like how fast i got um but if we're being honest did i get faster not really but that's not the point, okay? Day one and I finished all the green, which I found super surprising because I thought this was gonna take for weeks. It turned out quite well so far. I'm kind of nervous about how these little stars will end up because they're literally oh, just blobs. But I'm even more worried <gasps> about the butterflies and the boy with the butterfly that's being like Thanos. Cause right now it's giving more like swamp monster, but it's looking better than I thought. Hopes are still pretty high. Also, it's gonna be kind of annoying to punch the white around this, but I wasn't about to go and punch one and then cut it and then punch another and then cut, I just wasn't gonna do that. Oh, that actually looks like someone reaching for a butterfly on this side. <laughs> on day two i discovered i could punch needle while laying down and it was a whole new world day two progress i can't tell if it's getting more or less ugly I, oh my gosh when you look at it like that that looks perfect when i look at it in real life it looks not perfect but no 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 no, no. i thought i didn't like it i love it it's so good but like the detail is obviously not gonna be there, but that's fine. Cause the overall concept. But anyway, it's way past my bedtime. I actually lost track of time. <laughs> day three progress is day four. Well, bam. I made a mistake, but let's not call it that cause I don't like those. I ran out of the black that I was using. That was black, black. And then I was like, oh, I'll just use this other softer yarn that is black, but it has a little bit of white in through it, thinking that would be fine. And I did this whole piece in it. All my hard work. I don't know if you can see the difference. I couldn't really see it last night, but I can see it very much now. It's just not giving that juicy. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's not giving the contrast that we need. That is one of the main reasons why I love this piece. <sighs> so although it is tragic, it must be done. I don't even know where, where to start. <laughs> I don't even know if this is gonna work. Uh, sadness. Is this as painful to watch as it is to do? If you're sitting there thinking like, oh, this is so satisfying. Okay, I think I did that with very minimal damage. I did pull up a couple loops of the white, but all in all, just hope it's easy enough to go back through all this, cause it's... We'll see. Day four. Five, I don't remember progress. I made a matching hat. 
<laughs> kind of obsessed with this album. If I have or six, I don't know. Wow, it's almost done. Look at that. Ba bam. This is probably one hour's worth of work left. So fish tomorrow. Yay. I'm not obsessed with this hat. My hair just looks stupid. Actually, it only took me half an hour because I'm so talented. So it's done. Something's happening outside. I don't know what if it's scary. We'll ignore it. I am pretty bummed out because this side looks so much better than this side. But I can't use this side because it's so messy because I was not intending on using this side. Also, it's flipped so all the writing is backwards. But maybe once I cut all this off, it'll look a lot better. So there's no point in crying yet. But before I do that, I'm gonna go eat breakfast, cause yum. So I cut off all the ends and was still not impressed. I was getting more and more discouraged. Um, I kept kind of thinking that would make it better. And then I even ended up bringing out my, whatchamacallit? The, shears um and that just made it worse because it made the the white kind of dirty looking because all the black fuzz got on it and i just i was not happy the only other thing i could think to do was to go back over all of the really thin writing to see if it could come through better but like there was so much black already that it was so poofy and there was like there, there's no coming back from that um also i was washing my bedding so that's what's going on there i finished and it turned out amazing, sort of. Not really. I'm having a hard time not being disappointed. This side looks so much better than this side, but I was intending on using this side. So this side is backwards. And also I did not take the time or care to make things look neat. So it is a mess. <sighs> look how beautiful that looks. I keep reminding myself, this is my first project. Plus I knew this was gonna be difficult and I chose to do it anyway. So why, why cry about it? You're probably like, it looks great. It looks fine, but you can't see it properly. Can you see? You can't even read that. I mean, you probably can't read Korean anyway, but you, I can't read this. <sighs> but I mean, if it's on that wall, it'll be like far away anyway. I keep trying to make myself feel better, but it doesn't work. Anyway, we're moving on. It was then time to release it from the frame. The way I was trying to release my disappointment about everything. Though it seems kind of sacrilegious to step on this art, I kind of need to test its rug abilities. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that is a rug. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Am I starting to like it? Can you tell that I vacuumed this morning? <sighs> Me neither. Then I cut out some cardboard and glued it to it haphazardless, hap, what? That's a big word. I didn't put much effort into it because at this point I'm not happy with it, but oh, tidy up time again, nice. I decided to keep put in um, me making my bed as well, just so that like later, if I'm ever lazy about making my bed, I'm gonna be like, well, it's so easy. Literally, I, it took a few seconds. Look at how easy it is. Anyway, I'm so sad about the poster. So I took a break there, hoping that I would come back and I would love it and everything would be well in the world again, but I still don't. Also, I did not put it on here very well because I just randomly measured the cardboard. It doesn't fit, but I figured it'd be fine once I put it on the wall. Also, I forgot to buy things to put it on the wall, but conveniently, I have four of these left. It says holds up to one pound. I have no idea how much this weighs, but if I put four on it, does that mean it holds up to four pounds? I was gonna put this on my wall and maybe by the end of the week, I'll love it. Just by mere exposure or I'll hate it even more from having to look at it every day. My mistakes, my failures. I don't even know if this will work because of the way I stuck the cloth and then stuck the cardboard and then. This may only be on the wall for half an hour. If it falls off, then I feel like that's the universe trying to tell me something. I'm not really sure where to put it though. Oh no, I already stuck it. Uh, I don't know. That looks crooked. It is crooked, but is it good now? Is that the same? Did I put it back in the exact same spot? Maybe I should have just put it in the corner. So it's less conspicuous. Ah, wanna be? Wanna be? Ah, wanna be? Wanna be? Wanna be? 
sad that I'm hoping that it'll fall off soon. <laughs> I just want to keep cutting pizza because it looks so messy, but there's nothing that I can do about it. Just gonna make a mess over my bed that I just cleaned. You know what? It's good. I love it. It's amazing. I put a lot of work into it and it turned out amazing. If I don't like it in like a month's time, I could just do an, an embroidery version of it. Problem solved. Or, ow! I can just get better at punch noodling. And I need to stop hating on myself so much. So in conclusion, I hate it. I'm kidding, sort of. It is nice, it's really nice. It looks really nice when I look at it in my little screen here instead of in real life. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I was wrong, no. And nothing's perfect. And honestly, why did I expect something so it was such like tiny details would be perfect as a punch needle rug anyway? I didn't! That's the thing! I started this and I was like, I know these details are gonna be hard and they're not gonna show up properly. And then when they didn't show up properly, I'm upset about it. Make it make sense. Also, take breaks. Also, also, don't shave it because it just made it dirty looking here like this white is gross now this white is so beautiful there will be more projects and maybe i will get better at it and then i will be able to replace it with a more beautiful one hello my room is gonna be covered in things that i need so crafty thank you thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time